welcome back to my channel so today is Saturday now something I wanted to update you on is Bramley so basically what's happened it's kind of unexpected but I did find some hair loss on him like quite a big patch maybe like so big and I immediately thought it was mites I need to actually get ready because we're going out so I'll just grab my coat um, so basically I did think it was mites at first so I treated him with ivermectin then under close inspection I realised that it's more of a fungal type infection because he's got like hardly any symptoms of mites apart from a bit of a bald patch. Looking at it closer you can see it's more of a fungus type of thing starting to form. So <laughs> I'm treating him for that so don't worry. But basically there is a problem because fungus only really affects if it only really affects them if the temperature or the environment is right or the conditions or poor diet etc. Obviously I feed mine really really healthily and clean them regularly so the conclusion I came to is that basically because that room is really super heated at the minute and it's not getting very much ventilation because it's cold this is creating a really humid environment which isn't very good so I've got a bit of a problem because the skinny pigs, the hamster and the gerbils all need it to be that temperature to keep warm because that's what they need but, I mean, the hairy guinea pigs can cope with it a little bit cooler than that and it needs to be for their health, really. The only solution I have is to move the gerbils and Belle back in my room. Belle's new cage is coming today anyway, so that's not a problem. And the gerbils, they can fit in here, but the skinny pigs are my main issue. So we need to find something new for them, which means they can still stay out in that room, but they're better protected and can keep warm. So... I'm thinking some sort of vivarium or something which is well ventilated and spacious so we're going to have a look see what we can find today. I'm not sure if it's going to be like very affordable. I'm going to try and find something kind of cheap because I've just spent a lot of money on a cage for Belle so obviously I don't want to just spend loads of money on cages but I do need something and I need to kind of act pretty fast before it starts affecting the others as well because the conditions aren't really ideal just because it's been so cold I've had to be like super heat in the room. So my mum's just stopped off at the post office, like we're here now, um, it's so cold today, but basically we're going into town or we're going to find some sort of pet shop or something which like actually has some sort of decent enclosures, they're kind of hard to come across because most places they would probably be too small but I'm just going to see, just have a browse, see what I can find. Just died in the <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're adorable. Oh. I think I've ever come in and there'd not be one in there. Can we have a look? Oh, it's gorgeous. Gerbils are so sweet. I think these were the ones in when I went in last time. Yeah. We have to escape. <laughs> yeah, they had these exact four. But they, they all get on really well. Beautiful. Really Beautiful. pretty. Huh? Yeah, I think they're boys. What do you think? Uh, oh, definitely boys. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, look, look at this mouse. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's having that bridge. He's eating it. It's a pretty one. They're cute, aren't they? Look at that one. Mm. That scruffy one. It's a bit of kit, isn't it? Yeah. There's, there's some sort of light, isn't there? This is quite a nice size. It's nice yeah. I mean, it's the biggest one we've seen, that isn't is it? But. A metre and a bit by 50, maybe? White Syrians, obviously, not that common, though, are they? She's definitely pregnant again, though. It's a good size little tray for her. But I think. Yeah. About the same size, actually. I think the white one might be better. But this has got to be my ultimate favourite. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the stuff I was looking at. What's it made of? So as you can see, the cage just arrived. It's in a really big box. It's like, let me show you how big it is. So we're going to get unboxing now. cage unbox I just put a bit of a teaser on Instagram why is it not focusing there we go a little bit of a teaser so yeah I am about to build this it looks like there's a lot of pieces so I'm kind of a bit like uh, freaking out because I'm rubbish with instructions but we'll manage we'll manage get some I had to actually get my parents to help me with it because it was the most impossible thing to put together and it just wasn't working with me doing it so they did help me and I'm so happy with it I love how it fits in with the white furniture in my room and I think it looks nice and spacious like if you're comparing it to me like I don't know and it's got like a hinged lid here it's all very nicely put together and I think it's a really good design so I can't wait to get it set up and see what she thinks of it The cage is now with the bedding in. I know it looks like a lot, but people have been telling me 30 centimeters and above is what they should have. So I've got a ruler here. I mean, if I'm doing it from here, you can see that's about 30. And if I put it right to the bottom, I mean, it's 30 and that extra on top. So I feel like, although it does look like a lot of bedding, I feel like it is a good amount. So we'll see how she gets on with that. And then I can always adapt it if it doesn't work. So here is the finished cage and I was going to layer it with some more hay but I realised Belle doesn't really like hay so we'll just go with this for now and I can always adapt it. So this is going to be her first reaction to the new cage. Do you need your hand? Are you okay? Can you go out yourself? Going straight for that tube, I think. This tube takes her down to like a digging area. That's her new litter tray because she absolutely loves to like pee in corners, so I thought that would be quite a good idea. She's got a food bowl, she's got some driftwood, a little sand bath. Oh, she's just like sussing everything out now, making sure she knows where all her surroundings are. She's got a little cute house and a wheel, and then she's got some hay down there as like nesting material. <laughs> She probably won't use that, but just in case she wants to. Uh, so yeah, she's having a good wander around there now. So that's nice. So you can see how far the carpet tunnel goes down. She'll be about here now. And that's just going to hopefully encourage her to dig and get her used to that. This 
it's going to work pretty well for her digging. She's just disappeared again. I don't know where she went, but I can hear her digging. So yeah, she seems to be absolutely loving that. And I'm so pleased. I didn't think that she'd be digging like this straight away, but she actually is, which is so cool. And yeah, just to show you, you know, what it's like with the lid down and everything. Super easy to access, which is so much better than the Living World Habitat because that is one disadvantage of that. Um, so yeah, this is from Rody Pet. If you want to know, that's like the actual cage, what it's called. It is a German one. It was quite expensive. In fact, it was very expensive, but I wanted to invest in something that would last, something really good quality and, you know, made with sustainable and eco-friendly resources and stuff. So I feel like this is like exactly what this is. So that's really good. I think the dimensions are just over 120 by about 50, I think it is. And then it is about 60 centimetres tall, if I'm right in thinking. So pretty good for dimensions. Really, really happy with it. And I'm hoping Belle is loving it too. So that's probably all I'm going to be filming for today. Just wanted to update you guys and show you Belle's new cage. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and we did actually go out and have a look at some vivariums for the skinny pigs as I was saying. They're going to suffer being cold if they're out in that room. So I actually did happen to find a really good vivarium. So I have actually bought that but they're going to deliver it tomorrow. So let me know if you'd like to see the setting up of that and everything and just putting it all together so yeah we'll see you guys soon and i will definitely let you know how Belle's getting on because so far she seems to be loving it and she's been doing it already so i couldn't be happier and yeah she just looks so tiny in this massive habitat I'm gonna say bye then Aww.